Must have been an old one, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Take it away, guys. Away we take it. Winner finals. All right. Game Three, one. Two, Back to Smashville. One, go! We have the Subspace Emissary Dynamic Duo duking it out with each other. Hit versus Mario. Let's get it. Uh, I kind of love sub Subspace. Some iconic combos and some just in general pretty unique ones. And wow, just look, seeing at Pit, look at the like, place from Luminous. Seeing Pit interact like in this game with other characters is really unique, especially well at the time of Brawl he didn't have any new games. But after Uprising and after all of his new personality updates, it's pretty cool. And with his new buffs, like that up there keeps it, those just keep on giving. He's only taking eight. <laughs> yeah. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Yeah. Good idea. And he takes right only eight arm. point damage. Very nice work. Still pushing it. Mario doesn't have a double jump. And Luminous doesn't take advantage. Luminous, if there's one thing you push. need to do, thing to practice for Luminous. My opponent doesn't have a double jump. How do I cover a ledge? <laughs> I mean, it could be they just didn't realize. Potentially, potentially. Or he might have been in a position where he just couldn't do anything about it. Oof. Sauce almost evens it up right there. It's close. It's close every time. Of course. And this stage is... Oh, it's Mario. I'm on that. Yeah, if there's any character that can just... Well, there's plenty of characters, I should say, that can make things... They can even things up really quick, but Mario is one of the better ones with his... Like, he is confirms now, he is confirms earlier, he doesn't really have many confirms later, but then, like, up smash starts killing, and it's fine. He tried to go for the two-frame, but covers it. The cape ledge trump thing, so good. Is he dead again? No, it's fine. Uh, it's arrow time. Something you should consider doing is uh, if Sauce is going to uh, strain his uh, recovery that hard, he Luminous could consider going for an Orbitar pushback at some point. Like if, it's, uh, if he sees Sauce like really straining the recovery, he could just do it. Yeah, I can see that. It's. Orbiters function weird with multi-hits, though. They usually power right through the Orbiters. Is he dead? Oh, oh man, Sour Spot again. He's like... Well, I mean, push him before he's in position. Not be, of course. And just like that, yes. Sauce is... Is, um... Hmm. Hmm. On his last stop. It was... It was a valiant effort, though. We respect it. And here we Remind are, back to up. Er, Only 13% to his name. Mark. Oh, man. clearly made some good mid-game adjustments here. Mostly in terms of how he's swarming Luminous down. He knows that if he tries to play the uh, mid-range game, he can't get away with that because there's a big sword in the middle of the ring where he just rush him down, wait, make him swing buttons unsafely. It's the best he can hope yeah. for in this matchup. And he's dead, never mind. Just the classic. Maybe I'm just talking on my ass. It's game over for you. It's it's so weird to play. Like Mario, of course, has always been his, his big Achilles heel has been range, and being spaced out by swords has been just like the way to play the matchup. If you have any, if you have any range advantage against Mario, use it to the nth degree. And while Luminous did a phenomenal job at doing that, we did see Sauce start to adapt. We did see him start to approach more with shield. And when he had a chance to, when he had a chance to play forward, he did. But it's finding those chances that he needed to wait a little bit more patiently on, not try and force anything. Like there, he forced the up B, and while he didn't, while he died by his own hand, he did in fact die for it. PS2 is the pick. No battlefield here, not anymore. Just 
gonna be straight by plats and just... yeah yeah <laughs> nothing wrong with a good by plat nothing wrong with a good by plat especially not for mario True. i didn't hear the footstool come out did he just he just missed i'm surprised Guess we can also point out that it is back to the pit, not not the dark pit anymore. Well, yeah, I don't really think dark pit would be helpful in this matchup over pit. I find them so similar that it can be the difference between both of them I, or is, is very minute. It's just arrows and side B. As the difference far as I is know. that one of them did. Difference is one of them didn't learn how to read. It's true. True. Dark pit is. Get it. Dark Pit very well read. Regardless, uh, Pit is generally more desired if you think you can go for uh, really good offstage harassments using uh, arrows. And Dark Pit is more preferred if he thinks he can hit hit up a good ledge trap with uh, Electroshock, depending on matchup. Like, you're either picking for Pit's arrows or Dark Pit's uh, side bait. And in this case, there's no way that uh, Electroshock would be useful against Mario. He's fast, he's nimble. He's not going to get hit by that. No, not even slightly. I love these hard reads that Sauce is going for. He finds his opening, he's trying to take it to the... He's taking it to the limit. Covering with the back air. Also, he's able to use arrows for nice counter harassments. That's always nice. Yeah, he's he's been using them a plenty to cover the D ledge. Uh, to cover just to make Sauce stand at ledge with shield and give him a free recovery oh. rain. All right, he's dead. And there he goes. He gets him with arrows. A full charged arrow. Full charge so 360 no scope. But Mario without I... a jump, like it's. Oh, never mind. Back throw. Okay. Roll to ledge back Ooh, throw. The crap. classic. Well, he wants to make sure he got all the percent he could. Covered with Nair. And he oh, went low it. that time. That's a good gimp. <laughs> Noticing he didn't have the double, double jump and that arrow too. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny. Was he, easy. That's kind of the thing that, like, even in the PC Ninja set, like, that, sometimes he would focus on he focused on trying to cover air dodge to ledge, when without a jump, he, he just went for the trade. Or he went to cover he went to cover low. All right. So something I want to mention, um, I completely forgot about this, but Pitt's forward air. And Dark Pits, they're actually really good at uh, edge guarding uh, uppercut style recoveries. Just because they're basically putting a ceiling fan out in front of them, they can make it so uh, you uppercut the ceiling fan and not his hand. Uh, that's like a free game. I've seen it time and again in uh, Smash 4. I didn't see it too much in this game because no one used Pit in this game, but there it is. It's, it's still intact. Like I saw it against all sorts of. Uh, Characters with abusable recoveries. Look at this, look at this. Ready. Takes his jump, and he's just like ceiling fan. There it is. And then almost saves him with the arrow. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. I was just typing. Okay. Three, Sorry about that. No, something weird I, happened. I want to make sure I didn't lose you. Yeah. Oh, we got Roberto. Yeah, we lost the Mario. We could have Rob instead. Is this the third character we've seen Sauce use now? We saw, yeah, Roy, Mario, and now choice. Rob. Oh this yeah, this is a absolutely. good choice. He's he might have picked up on that Luminous is like very heavily playing the mid range game, and who better to play mid range than Roberto? Yeah, he can have top play the neutral a mid -range. point. Yeah, Rob is a mid range king. Oh yeah. With like if you're not if you're not playing a character who just swarms the crud out of him, he can just space you out with down tilts, nares, the works. 
Not to say this is all bad for uh, Pit. He does have a sword. And he does have arrows, which can be good uh, counter harassment to Rob's uh, projectiles. Alright, let's see Sa Sauce's uh, top traps. That was good. He doesn't need it. Luminous didn't, Luminous didn't want to regrab it, and Sauce recognized that and just held shield. Very good. And I can see why he wants to go to Town and City as well. Like he's really making he's really making use of his difference of character. Like not only getting more space for Rob to potentially land on, but more space to have a mid more time to play a mid-range game. Like it takes longer for Luminous to get close and background will kill, which is why he went for a nice DI mix-up. Yeah, it was weird seeing Pit do the classic roll back throw. Yeah, that well roll to ledge grab. Roll behind, grab is Like, it doesn't do that. Right. And that's why he has forward throw, so he can just run up and grab you instead. Oh, we got loops. No, no, we don't. Down the bridge. Oh, woman has got the mesh. And the DI. Oh, very the nice. Coverage. I mean, the can still make that it. That arrow was just what he needed to save himself. If he didn't shoot that arrow, he was going to get side beat, so good job. And look at that. Luminous is still back in this talk. I, I had judged him all but dead. That was such a clutch catch of the top, oh. but now he, now he should be dead. Ooh. I'm surprised we didn't just Luminous see up has uh, Mash he wasn't sure if it would kill. Yeah, town, but he's close to the he was close up to throw. the side, but corner. Up throw kills off the top, so. Yeah, but it, it doesn't send us just a straight vertical angle. But we got arrows on deck. Oh, that was an easy punish, but he messed it up. Stay back. Orbiters are so good. Oh wow, the. Need. Okay. Pitch, pitch jab, outranging, down tilt. I mean, you, you take the little treasures where you can, but at a deficit against Rob, he's gonna start make. He would start making you do uh, play Rob's game, but as long as Sauce wants to go in, then he'll, he can find punishes like those. Because Luminous has been on top of his whiff punish game all day. Here we go. Oh, oh no dash attack after. Surprise. It looked like a dash attack would have connected there, but maybe not. Arrow. Oh, he read a roll in, but no luck. And Sauce reads a double jump, but not in the right spot. Luminous That's is just... so good at mashing this. Oh. He mashed too good. Oh, well, there's the arrow. He accidentally pressed B and then up. You can tell by the way he shot that arrow up. Oh, that's such a shame. Look at this, look at this. He tries to press up B. Well, first off, his mashing is great. Look at this. He's like, I'm out. All right, time to up B. Oops, arrow up. I wonder if he... Oh, man. Because the... it wasn't... That wasn't a neutral air dodge, right? So he's in full air dodge lag. So it had to have been something... Yeah. Something he buffered with... Uh... Something buffered in that air dodge lag. That's unfortunate, though. Because he what started playing. Happened... Oh, good. What probably happened is that he uh, he did his directional air dodge, and then he tried to time his up B, but only tapped up B. And because of the timing, uh, it probably just only made neutral special come out. He realized that mistake and then pressed up. Uh, I guess. Yeah. So it's, it's hard to say for sure, though. Go ahead. No, like, it was, it's just such a shame to see a match end like that, especially since during the set, uh, or especially towards the end of that set, Luminous started to catch on to what Sauce was trying to do with his Rob. And it's very similar to what he was trying to do with his uh, uh, with his Mario, where he was trying to catch jumps, he was trying to stuff out, uh, stuff out defensive habits, uh, catch drifts away. Uh, he plays a very offensive game regardless of the character of his choice. And uh, the Dark Pit and his theme come back in full force. 
So what, you're not desensitized to hold buff or killing people after this whole tournament? No, it's kind of just a Wi-Fi thing. It's been happening a lot. It's been happening a lot. Oh yeah. I meant for today specifically. Yeah, I've, I've kind of just desensitized to it. <laughs> but clearly you're not. You're, you've got a bleeding heart for these guys. It's sad. But you see it happen and you kind of just so have sad. to accept it. It's the landscape of well, you it's the competitive landscape we're on. What happens here? Uh, I'm not sure. Every Rob has like different ledge traps, so I was curious to see what Sauce would do. I always kind of expect Sauce to see uh, to try and cover cover something with a button first, but oh. that grab was a nice mix-up that Luminous was ready for, and up smash out of shield, be consistent regardless of character. Up smashes are so good. I mean, some up smashes are just so good in this game. Classic Rob, not grabbing ledge. At this point, Soft should probably just throw him off the stage. It's clear that uh, down throw isn't going to get him from anything. Yeah, Sauce has been really, he's been really prepared throughout a lot of this, a lot of this game and a lot of, as soon as he's been choosing Rob, his disadvantage somehow got a lot better. Yeah, I guess he's, he's not worried about Mario, like, losing his jump. He knows that Rob has a plenty of resources at his beck and call. Getting air oh, anti-aired like that was super good for Malunas. The mash. <laughs> the king of mash. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Like, like at that point, just throw them off the stage. Go for edge guards. Yeah, we'll see if Sauce makes punish. that decision or not. Parry punishes are so few and far between, so it's nice to see Luminous like be ready for a parry and punish it with the proper tool. What? The? You got two reps in there. It's not something that I haven't seen before. Oh, like, New Jersey has a lot of pits, but seeing them implemented effectively is uh, is always a treat. Luminous has come to play today, and he's on. While he's on his final stock, he's got two game. He's got a full another game to try and adapt to it. This Rob, is he read it this time. Very nice. Oh yeah, this Rob's right, been so playing instead of clean. Just Instead of just chucking him off the stage, like my, I suggested, he just read what he was doing and killed him. Very good work from Sauce. A lot of the times, mashing hab mashing comes down to habit and how someone mashes. So they'll frequently buffer the same thing out of mash. For Luminous, that's been air dodge uh, away and slightly down. That one was a little bit more down, but he could have easily reacted to where he's been. D where he would have gone. Anyway, yes. I will mention that, yeah, you don't see a whole lot of parries and parry punishes in Ultimate. They do exist every once in a while, but there are some moves in the game that are just complete parry bait, and Rob's Nair is definitely one of them. Like, moves that are kind of slow, big, and used very often, those are the ones that should be parried. And Rob's Nair is, like, a clear contender for that. Oh, yeah. If you're not yeah. parrying that, like, consistently, you're not winning this matchup. It's the same thing goes for uh, moves like Ike Nair. Like such central, key central part of the move uh, of the character's kit are just so, are just asking for it, <laughs> asking to be parried. It's a little Rob tougher Nair in that is... case, though, since it just... Uh... Yeah, go ahead. It's a little tougher in that case just because uh, Ike Nair does start pretty quickly. That's fair. It's a different, it's a different beast, it's a different type of move, but parrying it all the same will give you windows for punishes. And it's gonna need, it's gonna take willingness to push for those kind of punishes that grant luminous the edge in this third game because a two stock's a two stock regardless how you spin it and you know luminous is going to make need to make some key adjustments i'm always ready just for for that top to land and just the rob to kill him at any percent Eat. 
Luminous is keeping it close. Very depth avoidance of the gyro right there, to be sure. The late up B, just using all of uh, all of the jumps that Pit has at his disposal. Ah, oh, what a tech! Very nice. A downer is active seven frames, so he he was ready for it. Unfortunately, not that. He was prepared. He was prepared for most any ledge situation. We're just holding shield at ledge. Down to pokes. Or... We got an edge guard chance. Let's see what he does. It's the up air, but no further. He got the footstool off of it though. I didn't. I don't know if he wanted to go that high. Oh, man, he's parrying. Very nice. And wow, not even a parry this time. He's just like anti that crap. No thanks. It's a. It's part of the. It's the other way if you wanted to contend with Rob, since he. He's almost always going to gain back his turn, quote unquote, by landing with Nair, landing with Fair, these incredibly safe buttons. But yeah. the more you by meeting him, by meeting him up there and catching him in startup, you can do just the same thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The combo starts coming. Get out spacing that grab. Is doing his best to bring this one back. Let's see. Sauce looked like he might have been looking for an up smash there, but it's hard to say. Okay. He's like, go on, hit my shield, sucker. <laughs> Stop it. He's really eating up that laser time. 141. He's playing right. He's rather safe. No need to worry about down tilt at 140. Oh, very nice. Let's use the Orbitars for good measure. Is he going to see a down tilt coming? No, he's trying to space out back here. Roll. There, he's oh. calling out the roll. Pile, pile driver. It's on Luminous to uh, take the stock back. But a Rob determined to not lose his stock is a hard Rob to kill indeed. Yeah, now he doesn't have to worry about the... He doesn't have to worry about even stocks or trying to mess with any percentages. Luminous had to, and he pushed the... He, he pushed the initiative just enough to Caught make it. it so that he had the chance. He had he gave himself the chance to stop. And with Pitt's combo game, especially on a big character like Rob, 71% to 27 is only slightly a lead. Fifty-six, sixty-two. The, the damage from these arrows has racked up so much. A pristine switch from Dark Bit. And he's gotten himself the percent lead now. Indeed, Luminous is Oh my goodness, missed tech, but no punish from Sauce. It's coming down to the wire. The game could have ended there, but we get to watch a more of this now. Yeah, good mix up on, on the uh, on the tech options. While he did miss the tech, he rolled in instead of away. I was waiting for the up smash, but he didn't pull the trigger. Yeah, I think Sauce was waiting for that too, or at least expecting it. That's why he didn't uh, swing. No good on the arm runner. Oh. Luminous doesn't take the uh, Electroshock or throws him off the stage. Everything's going crazy. Yeah, a little bit of spaghetti. He got a punish, but it could have been a little bit harder. Now, this is hard ball gameplay, but... This is intense neutral. Well, not neutral. It's intense gameplay. We need to see how Luminous gets off this ledge. Not trying uh -oh. to push too far. Here we go. Here we go. Good mash. Oh no, he doesn't flash out! 140's hard. 140's hard. I know, but we saw him do it a couple of times at 150. Biggest oof, but good set oh, overall. Man. Yeah. Very exciting stuff. You really gotta look back to the missed arm rotor. That would have that would have sealed the game, whether it be Electroshock, F Smash, like there was 
a million punishes that he could have done. Grab being one of them, but fourth or wouldn't have killed. That's unfortunate. He played a tight game afterwards too. He played a tight game across. And a phenomenal a phenomenal game five ending with Sauce as the victor. Not pushing too far, just doing what Rob does. Consistent, like clean setups. And down throw ups down throw. Right, the up whole set air. was really good. Oh yeah. Very good plays from both players, and hey, it didn't even end with the whole buffer mis mishap this time. And that that we can uh, we can all be thankful for. We can take we can an take solace in that. An early Christmas. Yeah, Sauce really went in for that grab. It's important. 